Okay, listeners, now we're on to nested loops. So this is another pretty easy topic because you already know about loops. All nested loops are loops inside of loops. So pretend we have something that we want to do steps over and over again, like, oh, the steps to make your bed. But pretend I worked at a hotel and I had to make all the beds in the hotel. So the steps to make the bed are maybe, oh, change the sheets, change the pillowcases, uh, pull, put new one on, pull it tight, fluff the pillows. All those steps are to make one bed. And then on the next bed, I have to do the exact same thing. And on the next bed, I do the exact same thing. And on the next bed, I do the exact same thing. Do I want to list all the steps every single time? No. So I want to use a nested loop so I can just do list the steps once and then do them as many times as I need. So for this one, what do I have to do? I have to get the nectar, right? I have to move forward. And each time on every side, I'm going to do that three times probably. So three times, that should do the, almost the whole side here. I could reverse this too, I guess. I could move forward and get the nectar. That gets one whole side. So now I can just repeat, hopefully, that whole thing four times. But after, after I do that, I'm going to have to put a turn in to turn to the right, right? So this should work. So I'm going doing good each side, doing four sides. And after every side, I turn right. So let's try it. Ta-da! Now I could have done this. Oh, well, I, I'm going to do this, and then I'll do this again, and I'll do this again, and I'll have to do it again. But you see how this is much faster to do it the other way? To just put the loop around instead of keep doing this. Another right, and do the loop again. So it's just much faster to loop this one whole thing in a nested loop by putting a loop around a loop. So all the problems on this level should make things faster by doing that. Please let me know if you have any questions, and good luck on stage uh, four.